The Canudi National Wildlife Refuge begins a few miles off the Dalton Highway and goes west all the way to the Koyukuk River. The refuge, which spans 1,635,000 acres, is bigger than the state of Delaware and encompasses boreal forest, low wetlands, riparian ecosystems, and alpine tundra. Natural processes formed this mosaic of habitats over thousands of years. In 1980, Congress recognized the value of the Canudi area and created the National Wildlife Refuge in the Alaska National Interest Lands Conservation Act. In the Alaska Lands Act, uh, there are four major purposes for Canudi Refuge. The foremost is to conserve the natural diversity and wildlife, habitat, and fisheries of the refuge. The second major purpose is to maintain water quality and water quantity because without that you can't have wildlife and fish populations. Third major, major purpose is to help the United States conform to international treaty obligations in terms of migratory birds and salmon. And then finally, we need to provide opportunity for subsistence by local rural residents. And that provision of opportunity is in keeping with the sustainability of harvest. Refuge biologists conduct a lot of research to provide the information needed to make good resource decisions and to maintain sustainable, healthy ecosystems and wildlife populations. The refuge is difficult to get around in. Um, you know, it's mostly by air or by the rivers. And um, there's not much evidence of human impact on it. So it's a very good place to work and to look at um, boreal forest systems and, and how they might be changing through time. Uh, the other thing that's interesting about Canudi is it's had a very active fire history since they started recording um, fire scars or the, basically the footprints that fires leave on the environment. Um, they started doing that in 1950. About 70% of the refuge is burned and we have 1.65 million acres. So that's a, a large amount of burned habitat. And there's still a lot we don't know about how fire over time um, affects these boreal forest and ar arctic ecosystems, um, how succession proceeds, and what will happen as the climate changes and these areas are reburned. There are six main uses of a National Wildlife Refuge as established in law. And those main uses include hunting, fishing, uh, outdoor and environmental education, uh, wildlife photography. And we have to balance the needs of the wildlife and the habitat with these priority public uses. The refuge manager is in charge of making sure that we adhere to the goals of the Alaska Lands Conservation Act adhere to the goals laid out in our long-term management plans, that we do a good job interacting with the local community members, that we provide uh, recreational opportunities to the non-local constituency and the rest of Alaska and the lower 48 states and the world, balancing the public uses with the needs of wildlife and fisheries and habitat. I think the success is that we've maintained the habitat and the populations in their natural diversity in essentially a pristine condition. Because of its remote location, most people on the refuge are local residents. Visitors are few. Those who do make their way into this wildland will find an amazing, intact ecosystem that is both a challenge and a reward to experience. <laughs>